The classic folklore approach is that of Wilhelm Mannhardt, a German scholar, who attempted to collect data on the lower mythology, which he considered to be more or less homogeneous in ancient and popular peasant traditions and basic to all formation of myth. Mannhardt saw sufficient analogies and similarities between the ancient and modern data to permit use of the latter in interpreting the former. Like Herder, he saw the source of mythology in the traditions passed on among the Vogue. He collected information not only about popular stories but also about popular customs. He interpreted ancient Greek rituals by relating them to customs of the agricultural peoples of Northern Europe, proposing this link in his book Antique Wald und die Feldkult, 1877, Ancient Wood and Field Cults. Other people who examined myth from the folklore standpoint included Sir James Fraser, the British anthropologist, the brothers Grimm, Jacob, who influenced Manhart, and Wilhelm, who are well known for their collections of folklore, and Stith Thompson, who is notable for his classification of folk literature, particularly his massive motif index of folk literature, 1955. The Grimms shared Herder's passion for the poetry and stories of the Vogue. Their importance stems in part from the academic diligence and meticulousness that they brought to the recording and study of popular tradition. In addition to their collection of Merkin tales, they published volumes of Deutsche Sagen, German legends. These were tales that purported to record actual events and that were ostensibly set in a specific place and period. 